Hello and welcome to my blog. This week's blog, November 26, 2012, is titled Deadbeat Parents. And I want to focus on parents who do not take care of their children. And what, what I'm talking about is when a man and a woman are together and they make the conscious decision to make a baby and have a child, then they should both provide for that child. Back in the days when the Indians were here, it took a whole tribe to raise a child. And nowadays, two people get together, they make a baby, they have a baby. And then when they split up, or they're not together anymore, things don't work out, the father forgets that he has a child and he does not provide for that child. He doesn't give money for, to that child to, to help put food on the table or clothes on their back or shoes on their feet or even electricity for them to have to play their video games or whatnot. They make up the excuse of, I don't know what she's doing with my child support money. You know, it doesn't matter. As long as you're paying that money and you know that you're giving it towards that child, then nothing else should matter. You know what I'm saying? Same thing goes for women. Women who who are not together with the father and they become deadbeat mothers and they don't support their children. And they go about their business every day and being bums, basically, and not taking care of their children and forget about the child and forget that the child has to eat has to um, have shoes and clothes on their back, that the child needs some type of support. You know, if you have a child, damn, take care of your kid for real. Like men, men nowadays, like now don't get me wrong. There's men that do take care of their children and I give them mad props, more power to you. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? You're taking care of your responsibility. You're doing your thing, providing for your child, working hard, doing what you're supposed to do to provide for that child. I give you mad props. But there's fathers out there that once they leave the mother, they forget that that child has to eat. They forget, okay, the you know, she going to get food stamps. The government could take care of my child. No, get your ass up, get a job. If you have to work two jobs, do what you need to do to provide for that child. You know what I'm saying? If you're not there physically, then you need to be there financially. Like I said, there's a lot of fathers out there that do take care of their responsibility, but there's a lot of deadbeat dads out there that the mom has to put them on child support. And even then they don't pay their child support. They suspend their license. They go to jail. You know, they make up excuses. Oh, I don't make enough money. Give something. Something is better than nothing. You know what I'm saying? Giving nothing just shows that you really don't give a damn. Giving nothing shows that you're selfish and you don't care about that child. Why should a mother do everything on her own? I've been there. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Why should the mother have to work hard, bust her ass to provide for the children or that child all by herself? pay for the food, pay for the clothes, pay for their school supplies, pay for everyday things that the kids need, field trips, um, laundry detergent to wash the kids' clothes, like so much things that has to be done and taken care of to provide for a child. Then the holidays come. I mean, where's this father at? Nowhere to be found. And then, then they get mad when the new man comes along. And the kid gets attached to the man and they're calling the new guy daddy or dad. Then they want to be all up in the mix and be like, that ain't your daddy. I'm your daddy. Okay, then provide for the child. Be a father. Get your ass up and do what you got to do to provide for that child. And then you wouldn't have that problem, would you? Okay, now for women, there's women out there that have children and then... Okay, they can't, they're like, oh, I can't provide for the child. I can't do this. I can't do that. You know, then your ass should have kept your legs closed and not made a baby. When you have a baby and you become a mother, then your ass should be working hard to provide for that child. If you know the father is nowhere around and you got to do what you got to do to provide for that child, but make sure you are providing for that child and not out clubbing, spending your money that you know you need formula or diapers for that kid or to buy an outfit for the baby or shoes or when it's winter, the baby needs a jacket and your ass ain't got no money and you got other people taking care of your kids and you ain't taking care of your kids being a mother. You know, that really gets to me. Women that don't take care of their kids. I mean, why the hell do you have a baby then? Why do you lay there and make a baby and then do not take care of your responsibilities? You know, there's women out there that I see them in the club and I just be like, where the hell's baby at? You know, when, when I go to a club, You know, you got to make sure that your child is either with the father or with somebody responsible. You know, I've met people where I'm like, oh, how are the kids? She's like, oh, I don't know. You know, I haven't had time to go see the baby this week. But and I'm just like, 
Are you serious? You you haven't seen your baby for a week? I can't see my kid. Like, it's hard for me when they're at school and I'm like, oh my gosh, I miss my babies or I'm at work and I don't see the babies, you know? It's really hard. So I just can't understand women who don't see their children for like weeks at a time and or whatever and they're not taking care of their responsibility. It's just ridiculous to me. And I'm not here judging. I'm speaking my mind and saying what I feel and my opinion on the subject. There's a lot of Debbie fathers out there just like there's Debbie mothers. Now, if you're a father that's taking care of your child, I give you mad props you get you get you know mad props from me and i'm telling you like keep doing your thing in the long run it'll pay off that child will love you unconditionally you know some parents are not there and then they expect the child to be like why don't you love me that baby is growing up without you how can that child love you and if you're not ready to be a parent then you need to be using protection or using some type of birth control if you're not willing to do that keep your legs closed men wrap it up stop making babies that you can't provide for stop making babies that you can't take care of you know it's 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 ridiculous and it's sad that this world is coming down to that you know like where children are going up growing up without a parent one an absent parent you know one or the other and it's ridiculous and it's really sad and you know like I said I've been there I've had to put my foot down and be a single mother and be there for my kids but I'm happy to say that I've always been there for my children and I will always have their back and be a responsible parent you know and there there's times where you know you really can't do it you really can't you know but show that you're trying trying is better than not trying at all you know what I'm saying and it's really hard to sit here and just point the finger and be like, oh, you're not a good father. Oh, you're not a good mother. You know, I'm not trying to point my finger at you, but if this hurts you, then I'm preaching to you then. You know what I'm saying? That means you need to get your ass up and do what you got to do. Visit that child. Be there for that child. Pay for what that child needs. Provide for that child. Do what you got to do to be there for that child. Because at the end of the day, when your ass is old, the only people that are going to be taking care of you are not your friends. It's not that DJ at the club. It's not anybody else. It's going to be your kids. Your kids are going to be there for you. At the end of the day, it's going to be your seeds. You know what I'm saying? That's all that matters in this world. Once you lay down and you make that baby and that baby is born, then your whole life should change. Your whole life should revolve around that child. And providing for that child and raising that child to the best of your ability. That's all I got to say. Basically, you know what you're doing. You know what you got to do. You know that you have to provide for that child. And that's all that should matter to you. Nothing else in the world should be more important than that little child or those children that you've created. Think about that. And with the holidays coming around and you don't have money to buy any presents, then you should be there. Go take them out, bake cookies with them, do something, but be there for that child. Okay? All right. Well, you guys have a great day and thank you for listening to my opinion. Subscribe to my channel and, or leave a comment and we'll think about what we will discuss for next week's topic. Thank you. Have a nice day.